Watching the world burn, watching the world burn. January 12th, 2024. Let's get into it. I, uh, I can't believe what's happened in the last uh, two days with the warmongering, bloodthirsty Democrats. Uh, oh my God. But uh, let's just get into it. I'm going to read a couple of my posts on X. By the way, I'm up to uh, 611 followers. Uh, Geraldine. Geraldine raised me as a child, and a woman named Geraldine just followed me on X. I just found it. I, I just saw that before I made this video, and it just it just hit me because uh, she's buried in a Confederate cemetery, actually in Lynchburg, Virginia. A beautiful black woman. Uh, she smacked me around and uh, kept me in line. Uh, I miss her very much, but let's get into it. So the first uh, X post that I put up, uh, you can follow me on X. I am that cybersec guy on X. Are we the baddies? What do you think? Are, are, is the United States the baddies? Or, well, I guess you could say the Democrat Party, the bloodthirsty Democrats are the baddies. Did Congress declare war? Uh, I, you know, I've heard the a lot of people bat around that 60-day provision that the, the, the uh, president of the United States can do whatever he wants. No, that's unconstitutional. You cannot bomb people in the world without congressional approval according to the Constitution. But we're not following the Constitution anymore. We're on a, we're on a totalitarian trajectory that's uh, it's beyond belief. So even the meat puppet Biden said Trump needed congressional approval to go to war with Iran after he killed Soleimani. Now, Soleimani, he killed a lot of Americans in, in Iraq, but we were illegally in Iraq in the first place. What do you expect an Iranian general to do? Uh, he was the master of the IEDs, uh, and I, I certainly feel for all of my comrades that fought in Iraq, as I did, uh, that, uh, you know, certainly Soleimani had a certain amount of... Uh, of uh, responsibility for that, but at the same time, we were at war. Biden needs to be impeached immediately. The unconstitutional strike on Yemen will likely lead to the death of many American troops unlawfully in the Middle East. With 8 million illegal immigrants in the United States, I expect war within the country. Do you think there aren't sleeper cells here in the United States? Do you think that this is going to go unanswered in some kind of way, shape, or fashion, whether it be our illegal, unlawful bases that are, exist in Iraq and around the Middle East or uh, attacking Americans here at home. I, I mean, uh, the Biden administration is out of control. This unconstitutional, unlawful, bloodthirsty Democrat administration must be stopped. That's my first uh, X post. The next one, this was last night. Today is a dark day for the American people. The warmongering, bloodthirsty Biden regime Democrats have declared war on Yemen. This was done without congressional approval. Democrats want war with the world. 228 views. That ain't bad. At least I got 228 people that looked at it. My next post. I find it amazing how the bloodthirsty Democrats who are complicit in providing munitions to Israel in providing... Uh, to murder, by the way, who are complicit in providing munitions to Israel to murder the Palestinian civilians still have Muslim support in the United States. If you're a Muslim in the United States, why the hell are you going to vote Democrat? They're murdering you. They're killing you. Same with the black people. They hate black people. They brought in all the illegal immigrants to replace the black people because they, they know that they can't get the black vote in, in huge quantities anymore. They're still going to get 80%, maybe 70% of the black vote because... Uh, well, I, I hate to say it, uh, many of them are uneducated. But uh, did they watch South, the South Africa case in the International Criminal Court of Justice today? I did. Did you watch that? The South African case against the genocide or the uh, extermination of the Palestinians was irrefutable. It was unbelievable. And the U.S. is complicit in this, this humanitarian disaster that uh, the Zionists, I'm not talking about Jews, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, we, we got to be anti-Semitic. I'm talking about the Zionists in Israel that are perpetrating this crime. It's like how the Democrats are replacing the black vote with illegal aliens. And then uh, 
vote Democrat. No matter what, you will be assimilated. All right, so that's enough on my posts. I want to get into my bookmarks. Let's get, let's get to the bookmarks. There we go. All bookmarks. So this is uh, Colonel Douglas McGregor. And uh, he has sources that are obviously I don't. And uh, he says, last night, U.S. forces attacked targets in Yemen, and the U.S. attacked a few years ago during Saudi Arabia's conflict with Houthis. In addition, and he, I don't know how he knows this, but he says, we informed the Houthis that we were going to attack them before we did it. Okay, that's cool. I guess I, I, that makes the attack a little less ominous. It seems the strike was primarily designed to pacify Netanyahu's, Netan, Netanyahu's God dang, I can't pronounce that, can I? Uh, ceaseless demands for war with Iran and his regional allies. However, from the perspective of the Arabs, Turks, and Iranians, Washington is now on a slippery slope to regional war on the behalf of Israel. Okay, regardless of that comment or that bookmark, uh, I want to point out we're running out of weapons. We've given uh, Ukraine hell of a lot of our weapons. We've given Israel a, a huge supply of our 2,000-pound bombs. Our strategic oil reserve is completely drained down to basically nothing. Okay, we, we can't run our fleets around the world, our, our, our vulnerable uh, World War II uh, you know, carrier groups around the world. Uh, and now, now we just launched another 100. I mean, think about every single missile that hit Yemen. Uh, what, $500,000 million dollars? You know, so what, what we just spent $100 million just to attack a bunch of goat herders uh, in, in the desert of Yemen. Uh, and, and in fact, if you listen to Colonel Douglas McGregor, we actually warned them in advance so that they wouldn't have any people there. So what basically we just struck the ground with a $500 million of U.S. military equipment. I mean, this is insanity. I, I, do you see what's going on? I mean, the Democrats have lost their freaking minds. I mean, the United States, we, we are on a path to total destruction. I mean, there's no way. I mean, $34 trillion in debt. All right, let's get back to the bookmarks. So, breaking. The UAE says that Houthi attacks are unacceptable threat to global trade and to the security of the region. Well, guess what, UAE? You might get hit. The Houthis have missiles. So, I, I, and then, of course, we got the Saudi oil fields. Can you believe that oil hasn't spiked? If, if you're not paying attention, you better be buying oil stock. I'd be buying ConocoPhillips, ExxonMobil, whatever you can get. I mean, maybe play some uh, options trades, you know. Uh, holy shit. I mean, this thing could blow up. Tucker Carlson. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, my God. Uh, you probably don't know Gonzo Lira. He was a reporter uh, in Ukraine. Uh, he stayed there because his family was there. And uh, they arrested him and then tortured him, and then and now he just died in jail. Uh, a very uh, a good person who was just trying to do the right thing and report on things. But Ukraine killed him. Well, actually, the United States did. He's a United States citizen. At any time, the Democrat warmongering Biden administration could have demanded that Ukraine... We finance Ukraine. We just voted in another $61 billion to go to Ukraine. Do you think... That if the Biden administration said, free Gonzo Lira and send him home to the United States, that Ukraine wouldn't have done it? Of course they would have. But yet, instead, because he said things that they didn't like, they let him die in jail. This is a travesty. This is who the Democrats are. Let me just keep going. And... Uh, being held for the crime of criticizing the Zelensky and Biden governments, Gonzo Lira was an American citizen, but the Biden administration clearly supported his imprisonment and torture. Several weeks ago, we spoke to his father who predicted his son would be killed. So that's Tucker Carlson. Boy, I tell you, Tucker's speaking truth to power, isn't he? Holy moly. I tell you, I, well, you know, I got 600 people that watch me occasionally. I, and of course, Jason Hinkle, he said basically the same thing. Horrible news. Horrible news. Gonzo Lira, a, a, a patriot and a warrior, a journalist, not like the ABC, CBS, MS, DNC, or any of them parrots that just promote propaganda from the United States government. Oh, my God. I just don't even get me started. Breaking. Germany will intervene and defend Israel's genocide in the International Court of Criminal Justice. 
Can you think of a worse nation <laughs> to, to defend against genocide than the Germans who committed genocide against the Jews? I mean, does the world, has the world gone batshit crazy? Tell me that. Has the world gone batshit crazy? So now we got the German government who committed genocide against the Jews and are continuing to support the uh, uh, war in Ukraine. They're going to defend Israel against the genocide that they're committing on the Palestinians. I, I mean, what, what, what do you say to that? I mean, it's just, holy shit. So, uh, so its German government has announced it will in, its intention to intervene in the genocide case South Africa brought against Israel in the International Court of Criminal Justice. And then he goes on to talk about October 7th. So this is uh, some guy named JJ. And uh, I thought this was a very interesting ex post. You know, if you don't understand that we're heading into a depression, you need to get a grip on things. Like I said, well, silver went up 45 cents today. That's huge. Uh, gold, of course, is at all-time highs. Uh, central banks are buying up gold. The Chinese are buying up gold. The Russians are buying up gold. India is buying up gold. Do you think the whole world doesn't understand that the Western financial system is due to collapse? Especially probably this coming March, but I, you know, we might last a little longer. But let's listen to these numbers. Holy shit. Citigroup is eliminating 20,000 jobs. Disney Pixar to reduce headcount by 20% this year. Well, good good luck, Disney. The woke Disney. The, the, the pedophile Disney. Uh, so let's let, let them die of a quick death. Discord is laying off 170 people. Google Reorg uh, is underway, laying off a few hundred roles. Amazon letting go of hundreds of Prime Video and MGM studio workers, plus 5% of its Audible staff. I don't even know. I guess Audible must be their their radio or podcast wing. Twitch is laying off 500 employees. BlackRock laying off 600 people. NFL offered buyouts to 200 of its staff. CNBC reports letting go 10% of its corporate employees. Utility software letting 1,800 people go. Uh, Duolingo. Do, Who the hell is Duolingo? Somebody put a comment below. Eliminated 10% of its contractor positions. Sharpie and Rubbermaid cutting 7% of their office staff. Voice app laying off 20% of the employees. Xerox laying off 15% of its workers. Pizza Hut in SoCal laying off 1,200 drivers. Nike cutting unspecified numbers to cut $2 billion in cost. General, how in the hell is the automotive industry in the United States still surviving? Somebody explain that to me. Who wants to buy a Ford, GM, or Chrysler? <laughs> I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole, especially since they tried to go electric after we got Tesla and, and Toyota and, well, uh, I wouldn't say Mazda. I don't think they have that many. Uh, well, and, and Toyota never had electric cars. They went with the hybrid route, which I think was a much better way to go. Uh, but, you know, GM couldn't, they wanted to suck on that government uh, green tit that the Democrats gave them to provide electric cars that nobody wants. Hybrid cars, on the other hand, are doing very well in the United States. So if you want to buy, I, I, you might want to look into maybe some Toyota stock or some Mazda stock or some Honda stock. That's the place I would go. I wouldn't touch any of the big three with a freaking 10-foot pole. But so General Motors cutting 900 jobs. Etsy laying off 225 employees. Hasbro cutting 1,100 jobs. Zulili laying off 292 workers. Twilo laying off 300 people. Spotify announces third round of layoffs. Another 1,500 people gone. So don't tell me we aren't hitting into oppression. Uh, so this is uh, this was crazy. Uh, breaking. General of the Yami Armed Forces. Boy, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. I'll just spell it. A-B-D-U-S-S-A-L-M. Abadalasim. Yahif. J-A-H-A-F. We sunk the first American ship. By the grace of Almighty Allah, we sank the first American ship with everyone on board using our missiles. Now, I haven't been able to verify this. This is just coming out. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, there's been nothing in the news. We are waiting for the recognition or the loss from the America he wrote. So we'll see. Maybe they did sink an American ship. You never know. Benny Johnson. Our vegetables would not rot in the ground if they weren't being picked by many 
immigrants, many illegal immigrants. That's Nadler, that Democrat fucking idiot. Have you ever seen that guy? I mean, he looks like a Porky the Pig, man. And he's, he's strutting around saying that we need illegal immigrants to pick our vegetables. <laughs> I, mean, God. I mean, well, maybe there aren't Americans that would take those jobs. I pick, I, I pick the vegetables in my yard. So don't tell me that Americans won't pick vegetables. I pick my own. Ah, uh, breaking. Qatar and Saudi Arabia with uh, logistical support from the U.S. and U.K. against Yemen. U.S. Air Force RC-135W aircraft has departed. And this was, of course, this was last night. I, I put that in. So I guess that's, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, damn. Oh, I did want to talk about things to help you. I always try to finish up. So this, this is an old monitor. Now, this is a Dell monitor. It's still a great monitor. It's got actually a pretty good webcam. And uh, if you look here, this is an old uh, S-Video cable. And uh, if you had an old computer, this, this monitor would be great. And it's still got the digital inputs and stuff. I'm going to give this to my community because uh, we have a computer room here in, in my community. Uh, and you say, well, couldn't you use it for maybe an old computer or whatever? No. What I'm trying to tell you is, you know, each month uh, before the shit hits the fan, okay, you need to be upgrading your hardware and getting rid of the old stuff. Okay, I, I, I love this monitor. It still looks good. It's still great. Uh, but I bought a new monitor. And, uh, and, and while well, I use this monitor, because, by the way, I mean, if, I'm rewriting the SSH chapter in my book, for example. So you want a computer that consumes very little electricity. So having an old computer with a Linux operating system installed on it as an SSH server would be great. I have no need for it. Now, do I have customers that may want that? Yeah. And could they use this monitor? Sure. But at the same time, you know, I would just buy them a new monitor. Monitors right now are, in, you know, you can get a decent monitor for $300, $500. I, mean, I wouldn't spend less than that. Uh, and, and that's in today's dollars. Now, when we hit hyperinflation, that's going to be a big difference. So what I'm telling you is where you can, when you can, continue to upgrade your equipment as much as possible. So I'm getting rid of this monitor. I've already hooked up the new monitor. It looks great. Uh, and that's going to aid me in rewriting my book. So peace out. Stay free. He was arrested and had his mugshot taken. And on the way, I guess it was a different scene than anyone could have expected. I'll see you, man. What's going on here, though? Now there's narratives, right? Trump supporters are a bunch of white